0.258, which are having the remainder zero that we had already considered as in the case of decimal number system. So what we have done, we have replaced the decimal number system that we had considered here only by the unary number representation. The concept will be same. Now what you know, we are going to uh, find out the TCS solution. For that, what we will do, we are going to find out some common logic. So what is the common in this case of 369? In 369, what is common is that they are having the remainder zero. So this situation, which is having the remainder zero, we will give a name like S0. All the numbers having the remainder one, that is 147, they are represented by S1 and 2, 5 and 8. They are represented by the name S2. Now, this is your remainder 0. Remainder 0 is nothing but what is needed in our question. All the numbers which are divisible by 3, we have to find out that. So this is uh, the here in the remainder 0, that is in S0, we are having our answer. That's why this S0 is considered as a final state. Now, how we are going to mark the final state in TCS? We are going to double circle that final state. Now, how we are going to indicate non-final states by using a single circle like S1 and S2. Now, this is your final state. These are the intermediate state. Now, what from where we will start our diagram? For starting the diagram, we will take one state, which is name, whose name will be S3, and that will be again going to mark as so this is the one portion of finding the thesis solution. Now, what is the second solution? Uh, second step in finding the solution is that we will uh, we will consider tape method. Now, what is the tape method? Is that we are going to consider this state, and here we are going to write the initial state. Initial state is the state in which we are not having any input or output. Now we will consider the number system. First number that is created in the unary number system is number one. So we we'll consider number one. Number one belongs to which category? It, it uh, belongs to S1 category in which the remainder that we are going to write on the top of the tape and at the bottom of the tape, we are going to represent the resultant state. So S3 is the initial state with the one. This is your uh, unit number one. Unit number one is having a remainder, so we have a remainder one here, and this state is indicating remainder one is S1. So we have considered the resultant state as S1. Now we are going to consider S1 as a resultant state. So this is your S1 state. Now which remainder was indicated by S1 is one. And how the string is represented by the S1 state is this one. So we'll consider this one. Now here in this state, we are going to have uh, infinite number of cells and we are going to read the next symbol. After single occurrence of one, now we are ready to read the second input. Again, it is a unary number system, same number. So the next number itself will be <coughs> number one. Now number two is created because this is two occurrence of one. So the two occurrences of one is having a remainder two. So what we are going to write, we are going to write remainder in the top and at the bottom what we are going to write, we are going to write the residual state as S2. Okay, now this S2, what is going to become, is going to become the resultant state. Okay, so this resultant state now we are going to consider. So this will be considered as a result, uh, new state S2. Now S2 represents the state, uh, string, S2 represents the string, so we will consider this string. Now we are waiting for the next input here. The next input will be again one. So the new string that is created is triple occurrences of one. Triple occurrences of one here is nothing but the number three. Number three is having the remainder zero. So what we are going to write, we will write on the top remainder zero. And which state was represented by the remainder zero is S0. So we will write S0 here, which is your new state. Now what we are going to do, we are going to consider the newly created state, which is S0. Now S0 represents number 3. So we will consider number 3 with the next input. The next input is now 1. So this is the 4 occurrences of 1. Now this 4 occurrences of 1 is nothing but number 4. So number 4 is not divisible by 3, having the remainder 1. So remainder 1 condition we have already considered here. So this is your number 1 
condition that we have considered here, it is indicated by S1. So what we are going to write, the resultant state will be S1 that we have already considered with the remainder of 1. And this state is already considered, so this is what we can say the we are having a satellite waveform. We are, we are going to have this state again. So again, again and again, we are now going to consider this state. This is the stopping point of considering the tape method. As and when we are going to generate, we are going to receive or we are going to generate a repeated state snake at the time we will stop considering the tape method. So this is the stopping point of the tape method. Now what we are going to do, we are going to draw the state condition table. For that we are going to write STF and MF. In STF, the input with the state is going to uh, generate the resultant state at MAF machine function in which input with the state is going to generate the required output. So what are we going to do? We are going to write input here, I here. So what is I is only one. So same thing we have to write here. We are going to write I which is one and here column wise what we are going to write? We are going to write state that we have to we had already considered. So we, from where we started, we had started from S3, which is your initial state. So this is S3. On the other side, we have to write S3. Now S3 on one, where is going? It is going to S1. So S3 on one, it is going to S1. Now S3 on one, S3 on one, what was the output that was generated? It is one, so we will write here. Okay, now this we will consider as a this state S1. So on the other side of the table, we will write S1. Now S1 on 1. So S1 on 1, where it is going? It is going to S2. So we will write here S2. What was the output of S2 was 2? So we will write 2 here. Now this will this will be considered as a resistance state S2, S2 on 1, which is to S0 that is right here. And it is generating S0 generating the remainder 0. Now S0 will consider will be considered as a resistance state S0 with the next input 1. Where it is going with the next input 1, it is going to S1. So we we'll write S1 here. Okay, what was the output of S1? The output of S1 was 1, so we'll write output 1. So this is how we generated the state transition table. Now it's time to draw the state transition diagram. So from where we start, we'll start from the S3. Where is S3 is the initial state? How will we mark? We'll mark by using small error. Now S3 on 1, that is going, it is going to S1 state. So what was the output of S1? Output of S1 is present here, so we'll write 1 here. Now S1 on 1, where it is going? It is going to S2. Okay, and what was the output of S2 was 2. Now S2 on 0, on 1, where it is going? It is going to S0, and S0 is the final state, so we'll mark in double circle. So S2 on 1, S2 on 1 is going to S0 with the output 0. Now S0 on 1, it is going to S1 with the output 1. So this is a method of finding, uh, creating your FSM for unity number divisible by 2. Hope you people have understood the concept. Do like the video, share the video and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.